as we start gearing up for some of those colder months here in southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, we start to see different precipitation types. We get some mixing and gradually eventually we'll move into more full snow. So I kind of wanted to break things down a little bit for you and explain why we see different precipitation types when we do. And uh, a good way to explain it is as we go through those layers of the atmosphere, we have uh, we think of it like a temperature column essentially. So uh, during those winter months, we have a cold air column the entire way through. So the starts as snow at the top in those colder layers of the atmosphere and as it makes its way down to the ground stays full snow. Similar to how when we look at rain during the warmer months, it starts as that snow in that cold air section of the column there and then melts the rest of the way through and staying as rain. When we get to more of these complex systems where we're looking at uh, mixing and uh, various temperatures throughout the column, uh, that temperature column throughout the atmosphere, then we get different precip types. So when it comes to sleet, it starts as that cold air, it melts in that warm section and then it refreezes so that droplets kind of becomes a little bit more cooled as it heads to the ground. Then when we look at freezing rain, starts cold, it melts and it has a long or larger air column where it stays more as a rain. Then we get closer to the surface and then it can become and then it becomes super cooled. So then as it uh, touches, makes contact with uh, roads, sidewalks, uh, power lines that are have temperatures below 32 degrees because it's super cool. It can freeze on contact and that's when we get uh, that icy glaze on a lot of those surfaces.